Hello, everybody out there. Uh, this is another episode of Steven Talks, and today we are going to be covering the Power Rangers. <clears throat> and the reason I want to talk about this uh, is mainly because, uh, as some of you have already pointed out, that I have um, my uh, the Time Life set that's coming. Uh, it's actually, hopefully, will be here tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> As far as I know, it's in a Chicago sorting facility, and it's supposed to be here by 10.30 tomorrow morning. We'll see about that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so what I wanted to do is today was talk about, um, just talk about Power Rangers in general. Uh, we're going to go through um, the TV show, the movies, um, and, you know, just basically the whole series. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about every single little thing, but I do want to talk about it for a little while. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the stuff that's actually sitting behind me here. Um, this is just a small sampling of um, everything I have Power Ranger-wise. This uh, right here is actually all the DVDs that I have. So uh, i got the movie. Um, actually, let's do this. So um, I have the first movie here. These are the three German sets, um, which are pretty much obsolete now because of um, the set that's coming out. Um, and then this, this is the first season of the German set, and it's actually uh, autographed. Okay, let's see with the light. It is uh, autographed by Jason Narvi. I met him at Comic Con last year. And then um, we have the uh, the second movie, and then this is a UK release of Dino Thunder, which is a really good season. Got Ninja back there, and then these right here, which I will show in a little bit closer detail. This is the uh, Shogun Megazord toy that came out in the 90s. This is the only of the Megazords, of uh, the original Megazords that I did not have as a kid. I actually got this at Comic-Con yesterday uh, for $90. The box was kind of beat up. But honestly, the toy looks pretty amazing. And then this one um, was one of the first things I found at Comic-Con, and I was shocked, honestly. This is the limited edition Megazord. Um, it's just black and gold instead of the different colors. And uh, I paid $150 for this, but well worth it because it looks really awesome. Okay, and like I said, that's just a f sample of all the uh, Power Rangers stuff that I do have. I'm wearing a uh, Power Rangers hat, which I also bought at Comic-Con, and a, a t-shirt, which I bought at Comic-Con last year. So I'm actually going to take this off because I can't hear myself. So, <laughs> alright, so let's go ahead and start off. Um, Power Rangers, it started in 93. Uh, it was on Fox Kids when Fox Kids was a two-hour, I think it was two-hour, might have been three hours block of children's programming that was on Fox at, um, I think it ran from 3 to 5 or 2 to 5 or something like that, and Power, Power Rangers was part of it. Um, I didn't actually start watching it until the end of the first season. Um, I didn't really know anything about it. Uh, at the time it didn't seem like something that I would enjoy. How wrong I was, right? <laughs> um, so I ended up really getting into it, and, um, I still remember the first episode I saw, Grumblebee, one of the last episodes of season one. Um, I remember watching that, and uh, it was with uh, Billy getting a B because he's so smart, so he thinks he sucks because he got a B instead of an A. Rita creates a B monster, and so on. But anyway, Power Rangers was a huge, huge like phenomenon during the uh, mid-90s. Um, I think it did it, it, it did better than the producers thought it was going to. Uh, from what I read, it was um, the producers uh, didn't realize it was going to be so such a big hit that they ended up having to contact uh, the I don't know how to pronounce this the toy um, company with T O E I, um, the company that created uh, the Super Sentai, and uh, asked them to create new footage, and they did, uh, which is now known as Zoo Two. Um, footage and that was for the last few episodes of season one and the first few episodes of season two and uh interestingly from what i've read anyway is that the zoo 2 uh, footage is um was with the original megazord so a lot of the stuff in the beginning of season two was spliced together with the zord battles from season uh from zoo ranger instead of die ranger and um it uh if you watch it you can actually see that the megazord 
uh, from season two never makes contact with the monsters in the first few um, episodes, except for like you know, just close ups of hands or close ups of monsters or I mean uh, weapons. Um, <clears throat> so season one, um, watching it again is um, it just doesn't feel right because you know Lord Zed's not there. Uh, Tommy's there and not there, you know, he shows up and then he disappears for a while and then comes back. Uh, but, you know, it's still a good season. Um, season two was my favorite. Uh, it <clears throat> got more, it developed characters more, it introduced the White Ranger, the, it, uh, um, I don't know, Lord Zed's a much better villain than Rita was, uh. Season 2 actually started off with a three-parter called The Mutiny, and um, uh, it actually was uh, primetime. They showed it in primetime. Uh, I don't really remember that. I just, uh, that's kind of weird um, for them to do for, like, a kid show. Not like a cartoon, but like a kid show, you know, but um, I do remember watching The Mutiny when it was first on, too. I just don't remember being at night, but I guess it was. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to go into extreme detail, but... It was a big hit. Uh, the movie came out between uh, seasons two and three. Uh, the movie is really not that good because what they did is they chose to just make a big budget Power Rangers movie instead of putting any time or effort into it. And they don't really follow things like um, there's a character whose name I really don't even remember. Uh, it's that pig character. Uh, he's created for the movie, never seen on the TV show. Um, the series does not take place uh, in the canon of Power Rangers because they, they're they introduced to these uh, ninja powers and then they're reintroduced to them uh, on the TV show. I think the movie was just a way to uh, make everything look more expensive. And it sort of worked. I mean, there were, like, the costumes looked uh, like... The costumes were pretty much like... I think they just took a... a a, uh, a hint from the Batman movies of the time and just made them look like that. I mean, they're they're not really anything fancy. I even heard that the, um, the director originally wanted to shoot the scenes with the characters without the visors, without the, like, the black part of the, uh, the helmet, and so you could see the people, the rangers' faces. Wow. That's like saying, hey, uh, we need Batman to, uh, where he can wear the, the ears, but he has to, like, have his face free. Yeah. And apparently, and I think I've seen a picture of it somewhere, they, uh, they actually shot footage like that, and then they realized how stupid they were. The CGI is terrible in that movie, um, like, really bad. Um, during the Zord battle at the end, it switches from night to day and day to night. I mean, I don't get it. Um... I don't know. It's just, it, it was it wasn't very good. It was the first uh, Power Rangers related thing that uh, the U.S. produced fully. Like there was no Japanese footage. It was just American and wasn't very good. So then season three comes along. Season three to me felt too complicated. There was too much shit going on. There were too many multi-parters, which I had no problem with because those actually feel like. The stories were developed, and the characters got to do stuff. It was more dramatic, blah, 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 blah. There's just too much of it. There's way too much going on. Kimberly leaves. Um, they get they get the ninja powers. They get the, they get new zords. The Lord Zed steals the falcon zord. Um, he kidnaps Ninjor. They get turned into children. They have to find the Zeo crystals. I mean, there's just so much stuff going on in that. Uh, not to mention they lump in Kimberly leaving. Um, so then... The season ends with Cliffhanger. Um, oh, by the way, I don't understand why people call um, the Alien Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, the ten-part uh, series at the end of Season 3 as a mini-series. It's not. It's just the end of Season 3. They just changed the title to Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. I never thought of it as anything but the end of Season 3. Anyway... Season 3 ends on a cliffhanger, and then they prepare for Zeo. And throughout the, the last couple episodes of, of um, Power Ranger, uh, Mighty Morphin, um, they did this whole uh, Zeo serial where they would have these little couple-minute segments that would happen at 
at the end of episodes or whatever. They weren't incorporated in the episodes. They were just kind of played between, you know, in the commercial breaks. And they started this whole thing where it's like, it's coming! And, you know, they kept showing bits and pieces of, of different things. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? Because when season three ended, it was the first time that a, um, that they had s changed so much. Uh, the first three seasons, the costumes are all from Zoo Ranger, from the original series that they used. But the Zord battles were all from Die Ranger or Kaku Ranger, I guess is how you pronounce that one. Um, but they never changed costumes, they never changed villains, this and that. So, and all the fight scenes, you know, the Ranger combat scenes were all American made at that point for seasons two and three. I guess it was getting, you know, it was getting to the point, I think, where it was too expensive, and the producers were like, you know what, let's try doing what they do in Japan, we'll switch the, uh, what happens in the seasons, and we'll, you know, we'll change it up every season, as opposed to keeping the same thing every time. So they came out with, um, Power Rangers Zeo. And, honestly, Power Rangers Zeo, outside of, uh, uh the original Mighty Morphin, is probably one of my favorite seasons. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. I think it's because it was fresh. It was new. It was something that they uh, were just testing out. They didn't know what they were doing just yet because they had never changed before. And uh, Zio was that the ratings actually dropped. And the thing that makes me really angry is that Zio never got a series finale or a season finale, I should say, um, because I don't know. Uh, they did the Turbo movie right after Zio and. Uh, they never explain why they have to get rid of the Zeo powers. They never morph into the Zeo characters aside from Catherine, kind of half morphing into her character. Um, they never, uh, they never give an exam. They never explain. You know, at the end of Zeo, well, not the end, but towards the end, Lord Zed and Rita, you know, are all set to take over. You know, take back over and be the villains again. And then they're just like, eh, whatever. And, you know, Zeo just never gets a proper send-off. They're just like, oh, here are your... We, we've created turbo powers. Here you go. Why? So, Turbo. The season that almost ended Power Rangers. Turbo's awful. Absolutely awful. It is awful. <laughs> I, just, I don't know how else to say it. It's They bring in some stupid kid... Uh, who grows up when he morphs, which I think is fucking retarded. And I guess it was he, he was brought in to try to bring back the children audience. Like, okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, they get rid of the original Power Rangers. They get rid of Tommy and uh, Tanya and Catherine and Adam. Those are the ones that were left. And then they bring in, like, a bunch of nobodies that nobody knows, and it's just like, ugh. And, like, I st when I was watching Power Rangers, I kind of tuned out during Zeo. Like, I didn't really watch it too much during Zeo. And then once Turbo, once the movie came out, which, by the way, the movie was awful. Um, once the movie came out, and then uh, the first three episodes, and they get rid of Zordon and Alpha, and I'm like, done. I was 13 at the time, too, so I was, I was pretty much done. So I stopped watching, um from 97 until like 2004 or 2005 is when I started watching it again and uh not the new episodes like when I was like you know what it's time for me to like Power Rangers again <laughs> um so when I started watching it again um what I did was is I was like you know what I want to watch I want to rewatch the original series which I did and then uh after that I was like you know what I'm just gonna keep going so I watched Zio I watched Turbo all the way through, and it doesn't get any better. It doesn't. It ends really badly. Badly. Um, but then I watched In Space, and In Space was a fantastic season. Um, I guess In Space, the um, producers were planning that to be the last season of the series, and they ended it like that. They actually defeat all evil in the universe, and then... Um, uh, spoilers. They kill Zordon. And that killing Zordon in a TV show as opposed to the movie, um, for some reason throws out this beam of good and destroys all evil. Why they didn't just do that in the first episode of the entire series is beyond me. So, uh, yeah. 
Uh, and then after that, Lost Galaxy, which was the first um, season that... Uh, people keep saying it's the first season that had no connection to the season before. Technically true, technically not. Um, it doesn't have any characters from the original, or from the season before. I think Elf is in there, though. And, uh, I could be wrong on that. And, uh, but the, the, the set is the same from In Space, so it does have some kind of connection. And that Time Life se series that's coming out, everyone keeps calling it the Zordon era set. And I was like, if it's the Zordon era set, why the hell is Lost Galaxy in there? Because <laughs> Zordon's dead. Um, and I really don't, I don't get how, why Lost Galaxy is even in that set. Because the show, if you just watch um, Mighty Morphin all the way through in space, it ends perfectly. Like, if you didn't even know there were other seasons after that, you'd be like, wow, that was a great series. I'm done, thank you. Six seasons, thank you. But, um... I don't know. They keep going. I I can't get through Lost Galaxy. I've tried. Um, I haven't. I I can't do it. I can't get through it. It's just boring. Um, I'm I'm gonna keep trying though. But uh, after that, I kind of jumped around. I didn't. I haven't. I haven't watched uh, Lightspeed Rescue yet. Um, I've wa I watched Time Force. I don't know if that's the next one in line. I think it is. Time Force was actually a really good uh, season. I kind of had to. Um, I watched it over time, not all at once. Um, but an interesting thing is that they have their Pink Rangers actually their leader, even though the Red Ranger technically is. I don't know how to explain it. Like the Pink Ranger uh, is from the future, who goes in the past with all the other Rangers. The Red Ranger is from the present day, but she's technically their leader. Uh, then I didn't watch Wild Force. Um, there's another. I didn't watch Ninja Storm. I saw. Dino Thunder, which is a really, really great... The only reason I watched that was because uh, Jason David Frank, who played Tommy, came back. And uh, I wanted to watch it because I'm a fan of his. I'm uh, a fan of the character. I always was when I was a kid. I mean, come on. Um, I watched it. Fantastic. It starts out a little rocky, but once it gets going, gets, it gets going. There's a lot of multi parter episodes. There's an arc. Like, uh, it, it feels more like a dramatized children's show than it does, a, like, a fucking children's show. I mean, it's just like... It's really good. Uh, I really loved the, that series. I was actually like, I wanted to stand up and applaud at the end of that season. And then since then, I have not watched any of the other seasons. Um, just because I, I gotta get into them. Um, it's harder for me to watch the newer seasons because I'm just, I'm, I'm nostalgic for the original ones. And it's it's just kind of hard for me to. Uh, I tried to watch RPM because everyone was like, oh, it's such a good season. And I'm, I tried to watch it and I'm just like, I don't know, I gotta give these a, sh a, a chance. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, basically. Um, and I, I watched the first episode of Jungle Fury when it was on, and I was, I liked the first episode, and then I just, I kind of forgot it was on. Excuse me. And then I watched, uh, um, the first episode of Samurai, the first one that Saban, uh, produced since they, uh, brought it back. And, uh, I liked it, I mean, too, but again, I just, I, I forget that it's on, and... I think it's on in the morning. I'm not a morning person, but I didn't, so, uh, you know, I just gotta get around to why. I know they're on Netflix, so I'll have to check those out, uh, at some point. Uh, once I get that set tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing a lot of rewatching of stuff, and watching the special features is what I'm looking forward to. Um, oh, by the way, yes, I will be doing a video, uh, when I get the set. I don't know when I'm gonna do the video, um... I want to watch the special features, all all of them, before I do the video. So I may not be able to get to it until next week. Um, I might do two videos, one of just talking about what it looks like and everything. Um, and then I'll do another video talking about the special features and whatnot. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure if I'll do that. But there, there will be at least a video. <laughs> I was actually going to wait to do this video until tomorrow, but I'm like, you know what? I don't want to... Um, I don't want to waste time, uh, because I want to, I, like I said, I want to watch the special features. Just so everyone knows, the special features, and I'm so excited for this, you have no idea. Uh, first of all, the one special feature that I wanted is on there. Forgive me for keep, uh, I keep looking down, I'm looking at the computer screen, it's hard not to. Yeah. Uh, the one special feature that I wanted on there 
is the Zio serial, and that's the uh, little segments that they played during the commercial breaks uh, for Mighty Morphin at the end to lead into Zio. I'm so excited that that's on there. Uh, I really honestly did not expect that to be on there. Uh, everything else that's on there is um, new. They call it a documentary. I'm sure it's a feature, and I'm sure it's about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes long. But it's a retrospective uh, bunch of interviews with actors, creators, whatever. Uh, I'm really looking forward to watching that. Um, and there's a, a couple other features. One focusing on Balkan Skull, which should be interesting. Another one, I think, is on the stunts. I think. Um, and then everything else is like basically the direct to video stuff. And I'm, it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm like so excited for it. It's got like the, uh, the Lord Zed monster heads, uh, the Balkan Skull, the good, the bad, the stupid, the lie, the stage show. That I, a lot of these things I downloaded like years and years ago. It's really crappy quality. I'm so excited to watch this stuff again. Um, trying to think. Oh, Alpha's Magical Christmas is on there. Uh, the fan video, the karate video that Jason David Frank did. It, one of them. I don't think both of them are on there. Um, I said the fan. The fan club video is what I meant. Um, probably some other stuff that I, I honestly can't remember off the top of my head, but, like, I'm just so excited. This is, I love Shout Factory. Shout Factory does such an amazing job. They're releasing, um, all these horror movies with all these special features on them. I mean, if it wasn't for Shout Factory, we would not have gotten this DVD set. Um, we would have gotten volume sets, uh, possibly eventual season sets. I guess the way this, sets, if this set is together is that it's, um, the first two seasons are split up into two volumes each, and then after that, the seasons are all together as one season. But it would have taken forever to get to seven seasons. Um, Shout Factor, I listened to an interview with them um, online, and basically they said that they just, they knew that there was a fan base, and they wanted to give the fans what they wanted, and I think they did exactly, uh what they said they were going to do. The thing that, um, the one thing that I was kind of like, ah, oh, that sucks, you know, that's not on there, is, uh, they cut out the, uh, Today on Power Rangers, uh, segment, um, basically just to save time so they get more episodes in the discs, um, I was a little let down, I wanted to see those again, I mean, it's not like I'm going to throw my hands in the air and be like, I'm not buying this, fuck this! You know, I don't fucking care. The episodes are on there. The episodes are what matters. And I was like, eh, that kind of sucks. And then there's no commentaries in any of the episodes. And I was like, eh, that kind of sucks too. But it's nothing to get upset about because they off they have given us three discs of special features. Three discs of special features. So I am all for that. I am so excited about tomorrow. I have to go back. <laughs> My vacation's over today. Uh, I have to go back to work tomorrow, but my fucking set's going to be here tomorrow, and I am so incredibly excited. So, um, look forward to that video. Um, I don't know if it'll be an episode of Steven Talks or if it'll just be a video, but look forward to it. I'm going to do it. Um, and that's it. Uh, thank you for sitting here listening to me ramble about fucking Power Rangers. And by the way, all, uh, all this stuff right here on the walls... That's also Power Rangers figures. Yeah. Thanks for watching.